I'm going to start off here with a little before and after. On the left here, we have the original car with the bulbs in it. As you see, it's a little bit more subdued. You can see where each of the lights are. There's a bright area there. Um, and this uses a lot more current. Um, now on the right here, we have the uh, car with the LEDs in it. Much more clearer, brighter. Just overall looks a lot better. Overall, I think this looks great. And a lot less current on the old amp meter. Let's get started with installing these LEDs in this passenger car. To take this passenger car apart, we got these four screws that secure the frame, and then these two screws that secure the uh, the seat inserts at the bottom here. So we'll go ahead and start with those. Throw that over here. Yeah, that'll work. Do 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 do. -do. Okay, next in this model, you have to take off the end caps here. Uh, they just slide out. Um, also note that there is like a little piece of uh, foil or something right here, and you have to put that, place that back underneath when you do it. In order to slide this piece out easily, now that it's unsecured, obviously you have to take this off first. So let's go ahead and do that. These are a little stuck, so I'm gonna some force here. There we go. So I'm pulling it out at the bottom here. Okay. Now, you actually can pop this off. Go wiggle, wiggle. Okay. Put it on its side here. All right. That will be part two we actually install the uh, LEDs instead of the bulbs. But first, uh, we actually have a board with uh, some simple circuitry here. We have, of course, the bridge rectifier. I want to make a full bridge rectifier. That's right, it's not a dumb single diode rectifier. Um, this is the resistor for these uh, end caps and end of train lights. And then the plugs that connect everything here. And so what we're actually going to do here first is use uh, the existing board here. Uh, I, I like to do things as uh, uh, simple as possible. If I can reuse anything, I will. Or if I have to introduce uh, you know, circuitry or something else, then uh, I'll do that. 
which we will, of course. Um, take this part over here. I'll get into this a little bit more later. Uh, but this is a, a, a variable voltage regulator that we will end up uh, adding into this circuit. Um, and with this control here, you can actually change the voltage, which of course will change the brightness of the LEDs. So get to that later. And so first uh, I can provide the schematic for this. Um, but looking at the wiring, like you said, this is a bridge rectifier that converts it from the alternating or AC current on the tracks into DC. Um, and they use that just for the LED. The uh, bulbs are actually straight through from the track, obviously, except for the on off switch here. Uh, and they output here. Uh, and so we'll get into that into a little bit more detail and how I modify this board here. All right, let's unscrew this board. This would be the AC ground, even though it's a red wire. It doesn't mean anything. And so, like I said, we're trying to reuse this uh, circuit because it already has a bridge rectifier and the uh, voltage regulator that, um, that I bought here uh, is actually DC to DC. So it needs to be converted from AC to DC, which is exactly what that bridge rectifier does. Uh, so we're going to reuse that part and then basically plug it from here um, and then output to the LEDs. So I found the easiest way to modify this board right here is to uh, disconnect this wire. So I'm kind of kind of have to scratch that off the easiest way. And actually, I cheat with my soldering iron to kind of dig into the board there to get through that foil. You can do any any different number of ways, I suppose. You can scrape it off or take a razor blade or something, Dremel, whatever, as long as it's cut. Um, and so cut that and cut that. Um, and then we're going to supply our own power over here. And then we're going to modify it uh, and then connect uh, the output of the uh, voltage regulator back out. These are basically the, the output pins that would go here. Um, the same with these. This goes to, as you see, it's split. Some goes to the LEDs, as it's written on the board right here, LEDs, and connects to the other uh, connectors. And then you have power connector here. This is for the probably what the lower deck, and then this is the upper deck. Um, and we'll have a pin there, and then another. Uh, since we disconnected the power switch, we can actually still utilize the power switch. Like I said, I'm going to scratch this off, so that would disconnect this lead. This lead goes to over here to the outside, which is on this side. So I'm actually going to just take a little jumper and connect this to this. Uh, because this right here I found is actually connected uh, to the power output right here. So long story short, when you disconnect the switch, it's going to cut the power. Uh, the other modification that I'm going to need to make is to pull up uh, all of these. Um, if you look closely, they're actually jumping and connecting this diode and that diode together and then subsequently this diode and the outside diode together where the stripe is the direction of flow that would be uh, the positive out positive out so it'd be like positive negative positive negative so essentially two positives are connected two negatives are connected um, we're gonna actually pull those off the board and then solder them together um, and then those can be our uh, DC voltage output that would then connect to the vo DC voltage input that we need for this and then like I said the output goes to the LEDs of course in addition to that we're actually going to introduce uh, two electrolytic capacitors um, to uh, you know stabilize it and then uh, it loses power you know the flicker free operation as it will 
um, and add those uh, right here. I find that they fit right here. I actually get two together and then pull those up. So let's go ahead and get that part done. Once again, going back, scratching these two off to change the circuit because we don't want alternating current connected to the switch or to the lights anymore. And then we're going to pull up these, uh, these diodes here and uh, start modifying the circuit. All right. So let's go ahead and scratch off these leads. Let's get myself a groove for my soldering iron. Okay, now let's go ahead and desolder the diodes from the board. Make sure you allow it to heat up first, otherwise you're gonna rip it right off the board. Okay. Good. Let's take a look, make sure everything's all right. Make sure the traces still look good. Yes. There we go, and then the output, um, I will then take, once again, the, this is the input on this side, and then I'm going to take, ooh, let's kind of get it shot here, right, so input, and then output, and then these wires will essentially um, go onto the board, onto their positive and negatives, like I said, the one on the left here, is positive and the one on the right here is, is negative. We're going to solder together the two positives and the two negatives. The two positives are the ones with the stripe on, on this end of the wire. And then I'm also going to run the jumper uh, over to the switch that's now disconnected because remember we scored off the little trace right there. We are also going to take um, two of these electrolytic capacitors um, why am I using two? Because uh, I have this in my junk drawer of parts. Uh, this is a 1,000 microfarad, 25-volt um, electrolytic capacitor. Uh, it helps if I actually put it in shot, huh? Um, and, yeah, I had these. And, yeah, 25 volts is really close to what this circuit is going to output because, what, 18 to 20-something volts AC is what the track outputs. But I had it. I'm going to use it. If you were going to do something like this, I don't know, probably safer to be 35 volts, although this will be fine. I'm using two because uh, when you put two capacitors in parallel, you add the values. Um, and uh, actually, if you put two resistors in parallel, you subtract the values, and there's a formula for that there. Um, but yes, uh, I'm going to put these together, and that'll make it a two 2,000 microfarad um, a 2000 microfarad capacitor. So I'm just going to combine these pins together and then essentially just put them like this and then solder them all together um, over here. And you'll see the end result, but it'll basically be something like that. So you'll see that in a little bit. So let me um, get soldering. Huh? Okay, now we have our Passer is all lined up here, and I'm just going to solder the these two are the two negatives, so they'll go down to negative. These two are the two positives; they'll go over to the positive. And I don't know, maybe I want to go over and under this wire. I guess I'll just kind of go like that and kind of solder that guy over here that kind of in shot here solder hit him over here and then over there and I can kind of cut the little excess off right there and that should work all right the next step is going to be to solder the trace uh, this side which goes the output um, to the new LEDs or the lights um, 
and then on this side that is a jumper that connects of one of the two positive outputs and so essentially it's because we shorted I mean excuse me not shorted we disconnected that trace that went into the power input over here so essentially nothing's connected this is the quote unquote positive side that's the negative side negative side is fed by the switch so essentially we just need to connect it straight to the positive side and I'm going to just utilize that with a little jumper right here and just solder that uh, right across uh, on both sides a little solder here a little solder there all right now I've gone ahead and introduced the variable voltage regulator this is the output uh, and then there are the four pins here the first two pins because obviously it's positive negative positive negative that are all connected um, and I've soldered them in next I'm gonna go ahead and solder in the other two wires here for the input of the voltage regulator um, and these two wires are going to go to the positive here that's attached to the positive of the diodes and electrolytic capacitors and then the negative on the other side so that'll just attach over here and then that'll attach over here and then this will be connected and now that we have everything soldered in here uh, the two output leads down into the board two input leads for the voltage regulator um, connected of course to where the electrolytic capacitors and the diode outputs are um, very important to go through and check continuity for everything um, make sure that um, you know nothing is shorted continuity goes through I actually had a little a little trace that was off right over here for the power input um, excuse me the power output into the board uh, that didn't trace across um, and so I had to resolder that we have power to it we have it connected uh, the negative which is around the switch right here um, that little jumper that I insoldered on here that would be the negative feed that goes to the switch the switch is turned on the positive I just went to um, one of the positive outputs let's see if it's gonna focus here one of the positive outputs um, for the uh, you know output to the lights uh, and then of course the variable voltage regulator and out uh, just a note and as you see it's kind of multi-layered here I'm actually gonna end up putting a piece of uh, black electrical tape uh, in between uh, right here on the on the board and kind of cover up those wires so that just in case it gets pushed down it'll, it'll be all in the enclosure and nothing will ever touch it but just in case let's focus again just in case uh, nothing shorts out here you see everything hooked up um, and then uh, we're gonna check the voltage here so when we go over here we have about eight and a half volts if I take this guy over here and I can actually adjust it off you'll see you can go through and turn it a little bit lower obviously that's gonna dim the LEDs and so I played with these with the lights attached um, and uh, we can certainly do that when we go to test it the final time before I put it all together but I just like to preset this make sure everything works certainly before I move on to the next step so here we go 8 volts a little bit more 8.53 yeah we're just gonna leave that uh, another thing to note is that um, you can get these in a lot of different models um, and uh, you know depending on the car this is a, a the superliner car so I actually have plenty of space to stick it over here uh, but they have more uh, flat versions if you will where the voltage regulator um, is not vertical like this and it's more flush you could also uh, desolder this uh, variable resistor here that changes the voltage with something that's more user-friendly things like that you know attach it with two wire leads you could drill a hole in here and then have it come out the bottom you know I, I guess I could have gotten more fancy that way um, but I'm happy with keeping it where it is once I found uh, you know a nice brightness that I like and even popping it off and putting it on I could I could, uh, you know, change the brightness again. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Uh, everything looks good.